hello everyone uh, welcome to the trace session uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, one simple nlp problem so in this problem what we are getting is uh, we have some corpus some documents so it contains a reviewers product so if you take this particular corpus and this there are two reviews uh, are there two types of review two products review each product is separated by a new line i mean three new line and each uh, one document so what we are going to do is uh, we'll take uh, so we had two different types of review so like that uh, it can be a number of corpus so you can see here so we'll uh, clean the data we'll pre-process it uh, and we'll find the tfidf uh, for clustering so that's what we are going to do so for clustering uh, here i i used uh, you can see it's a k means algorithm so i implemented one k means uh, i just got a reference uh, from uh, uh, internet and you can search this wikipedia page or you can go to docs and there'll be citation you can directly go there and you can see it's and all if you run this it everything will be in this logs it will come in logs whatever we are doing for centroids and optimization everything will come in logs you can check the logs while running so this uh, dependencies now it's empty no dependencies uh, so far so in feature extraction i made a tfidf uh, so it's a code for tfidf and this uh, there is a data cleaning uh, data cleaning function what it will do is it clean the data you take only uh, alphabets rest all it will clean and it will make it a lower case there one more feature and uh, there's remove stop words uh, it will go to it will collect all the stop words from uh, this folder and it will collect and if you want any additional surface to uh, remove you can uh, add uh, there is i given one variable you can uh, give uh, it will extend the stop words it will remove all stop stop words from uh, the uh, uh, corpus data so this is a uh, remove stop words and uh, next is collect parts so for example if you give the corpus parts it will give the all parts under this this is not like always list directory it will go to walk so you can see it's a walk it will go to recursive and it will find all the files and it will uh, get the data so this is for collect parts function here all are uh, static methods i didn't use the pure object oriented uh, concept uh, so you can if you want uh, you can initialize the con content of the corpus here and uh, using one object you can uh, you can initialize the value and each uh, you don't need to return everything you can directly append there so it will be more uh, reusable and so i didn't do that if you want you can do so the next uh, thing is verb list converter so if you give a, a junk of words what it will do is if you give the path it will convert uh, your all uh, files into a list and it will give so it's just like a list with all junk values new line everything so after this list it will go to a uh, data cleaning it will clean all data then remove stop words then it will uh, return uh, the content so after that it will go to so i inheritance inherited the class so again i initialized if you want uh, any any specific things to initialize you can directly initialize there and you can change it here so this is a tfidf matrix what it will do is so what is tfidf it's a term frequency uh, inverse uh, document uh, frequency what uh, we have to do is find, first we have to find the term frequency so there is a formula there is a formula so i just uh, this is a counter by uh, the length of uh, the total length of the document so i just found the uh, term frequency of all content and there is a id of uh, co computation function what it will do is uh, it will find the id of that is nothing but uh, the log value of the number of document by uh, the number of documents uh, contain that words so i found uh, this function will do that and there is tf id of calculation just a multiplic multiplication of both so this is uh, this value and multiplication and there is something called word dict it, if you give a one list uh, it will convert into a dictionary of uh, dictionary and the counter i mean the number of words counts so it's a three function uh, here so everything uh, 
if you have if you stuck with somewhere while running everything will come into logs you can check the logs and you can verify the logs will be here you can see you can so everything is successful you can see uh, if you find any some error you can directly go to the particular function or file and you can find find the issue so here uh, this uh, method called the tf ideas matrix so we need a IDF matrix here uh, there is it's a path to corpus we have to give the path to corpus and uh, the, this is something called join corpus what it will do is here if, if you take this particular corpus in this single corpus there are two types of reviews for, uh, for example uh, if this uh, this is a single type of review so we can directly pass the complete corpus and it will convert into a single uh, matrix uh, of list so it will be very easy so I given one option uh, for that so if we give true, uh, it will not uh, consider different different uh, review. It will consider single review. It will convert everything in a TF-IDF matrix. So if you want a specific thing, you, you can give false and you can move forward. So default is false. So here what I'm going to do is the collect parts, uh, verb list converter and data cleaning as I told you. So I just used very simple uh, code. I didn't use so much uh, list comprehension. If you want, you can go for it and you can make it a small Pythonic way of uh, implementation. So here, so I'm just calling that uh, IDF computation and uh, T uh, term frequency, and I'm just uh, finding the mul finally I'm calling this TF IDF for all the values, and I'm returning the IDF. So this is the fun functionality of TF IDF. So I'm just closing this all. Uh, so this is how the thing works. And the most important thing I forgot in the init method, if you add the system dot path append, so this path will uh, add to this path, and it, you can put it anywhere. You can run easily. So and uh, you can see in uh, main things for. So in uh, main init method also you add this path so you can add a content you can run this uh, program anywhere so this one uh, run method so in run method uh, there's a it's a notebook uh, we'll open that in notebook you can see first version everything is, is there in init uh, there's nothing in it as far as now so we'll uh, go to the Class I notebook and see we'll see a further uh, how it is working. This is the problem statement. I just imported logging and uh, this interactual uh, important dependency and so it's a claim. It's a, some definition. So here it is the formula. This is the TF IDF number of times the word appears in a count and by total number of documents, words and documents and uh, IDF is log of uh, number of documents by number of documents that contain word and so i just imported that tfidf uh, from um, the package imported uh, so i just uh, made the, i just call that function to give one dictionary i'm just exploring it so these are some exploration um, so there will be some nan so we have to remove that nan so this is this is a function what it will do is if you give some uh, list of values with the dictionary it will convert into a data frame and it will give so here uh, we have four uh, data frames that is uh, one product have uh, in one corpus there are two product so two data frame in there will be n number of uh, corpus so that so the, i made it a function so i just uh, we have to remove all this nand so i uh, replaced with uh, zero zero and uh, here I'm applying k-means uh, I give an epochs uh, 300 and uh, tolerance uh, it's not enough actually I'll give 0, 0 0.1 so here uh, just print a document here some error I got because uh, the data is very huge and uh, I'm finding this NP not uh, some it's a runtime warning so you can uh, correct this if you want so it's some uh, confusion matrix so here I, I didn't get the uh, proper output from uh, uh, the k-means uh, clustering which I made uh, so I just uh, tried with uh, the clustering of uh, I mean standard clustering from uh, 
a scale learn so it's it's a fit it's well fit um, and uh, I'm just splitting the data based on the review here till 372 it's a first review first product and second product I'm just I'm um, again I'm fitting fitting into this and uh, I just printed now this is uh, there's something wrong because uh, the data itself uh, it's all a zero only few values uh, so we have to find the best way so the main objective of this is uh, to understand TF IDF and K means so it's a symbol uh, link to confusion matrix also given um, so the main thing is the test uh, here in this there's one folder called test test so here I missed uh, the test we I used the pytest for testing all this so if you take a test dot K means I just added the uh, test cases I imported the package that is lib dot class in my package I'm, I'm just testing it uh, I just I'm here and what I'm testing is whether the initialization is correct um, I initialize the K equal to 4 and uh, max iteration is 500 all the stuff I want to check whether it is correct or not so if uh, K yeah it is assert true it is initialized this is a test case for it uh, and this is a pre-processing uh, I'm just checking I just uh, took a one sample data it is working for a small data the algorithm is working fine when it comes to a huge data it is not working so I'm just uh, predicting uh, uh, I given uh, two classes the uh, default parameters uh, cluster number of clusters is two so here is a one is the expected one so this is a test case for uh, k means and if you run this as a pi test you'll, uh, it will pass it you can see here if you go to command prompt and uh, if you give us uh, the pytest command you can get html as well and this is uh, the command will be in uh, faq and this test idf here uh, the normal idea for manually found the idf we have so what i'm um, here i'm welding things some uh, data cleaning stuff so here i given some all junk data and uh, finally i'm asserting with the small letter of i removed all this content so if it's true assert it will work I'm just calling that function and I'm checking the TFIDF matrix I'll compare with this matrix so you can see here this is the matrix I'm comparing so it will work so here I'm just checking whether the it's a stop word that function is working fine or not here I the and V those are the stop words uh, so after this the output should be only corpus because corpus is not a stop word uh, uh, further this you can add test case more uh, so if you run this to pytest it will work uh, uh, for a few people uh, usually they'll use a uh, nose test uh, but I'll prefer pytest because uh, there are a lot of packages for pytest if you want to in, uh, include pytest this is a pycharm uh, it's a platform you can go to integrated python integrated tools and you can change to pytest uh, usually people will go for nose or uh, unit test I'll, uh, here I, uh, I opted the uh, pytest so that's it uh, you can add uh, if you want more test cases you can add so here uh, I'll be uploading this code in github and you can go so these are the requirements and if, if you want to uh, package it in setup way you can add all environment variable everything and uh, you can make it as a package so uh, yeah uh, that's it for now uh, Thank you so much uh, for watching, have a good day.